girls are supposed to like princesses and fairies, and if you like trucks and trains, then you're different. But I was the little girl that liked trucks and trains, and my parents encouraged that. Growing up with my mom as an engineer made a pretty big difference because I never questioned, will I be able to become an engineer because I'm a female? Since my mom did it, I just knew it was a possibility. When I grew up, the only female scientists I could remember from my science textbooks were Marie Curie. Engineering makes you your own scientist. You can build your own devices or something that may affect humanity tomorrow in a good way, of course. Okay, so this is the signal that we're putting in. I saw graduate school as just being a really unique experience as a way to build my skills because in graduate school you get to do research, you get to continue to take classes, you get to be involved in student orgs. You're smart and you have good ideas, but if you want to see those good ideas come into play, then you got to be the one that has the PhD. You can do so many different things with a PhD. You can go into policy, you know, you can go into industry. You could be the one that's coming up with these new designs and new technologies and new software. We need more women engineers with a graduate level education because the problems we're facing as a society are only getting more complex. And a woman's perspective is typically a little bit different than a male's perspective. Using both of those perspectives together, you can not only find a good solution for a problem, but you can find the best solution. Society of Women Engineers provides a lot of support to women at all stages of their engineering career. I'm at a place where people respect women and they can reach great heights. They can do whatever they want. There's no barrier. To me, SWE is just like Mia Familia, my family. That's your opportunity to see and that's your opportunity to talk to different women and meet them and know that you're not alone. And that even if they seem like they have it all together, more than likely they're facing the same things that you're facing. Whatever it is I'm doing, having a PhD opens a lot of doors. Cancer is the emperor of all maladies. And that's why I'm excited to tackle this problem. So I hope to be a faculty member when I graduate. I loved being in front of students and empower them to solve problems. It's very important for a person to walk and what I do helps people with asymmetric gait to walk properly. The more women that enter academia, be more inclusive of an environment that's made that encourages more women not only to enter into engineering, but to stay in engineering.